Hello everyone, I am Sonam Yadav working as assistant professor in Biani group of colleges. Today our topic is gamma ray interaction with matter. So first of all we should know what is gamma rays. So here is some properties of gamma rays. Then first one is gamma rays are electromagnetic rays emitted in the form of photons. Photons are a small packets of energy. Another one is Gamma rays moves with the velocity of light and the rest mass and charge on gamma rays is zero. Gamma rays are not deflected by electric and magnetic field. In short, we can say that gamma rays are highly penetrating. That's why their absorption by matter is different than that of another charged particles. As they are highly penetrating, so when alpha and beta particles are emitted from radioactive nuclei, they go to excited state but in return the nuclei to ground state when nuclei returns to ground state they emit gamma rays because of what because gamma rays are highly penetrating so here are here are some properties of gamma rays so before study about gamma rays interaction with matter we should know what are gamma rays what is their qualities what are their properties so here is a, a law the law of absorption of gamma rays. This law is considered when gamma rays interact with matter. So for that, let us suppose a gamma ray of intensity I0 is incident on a slab of thickness x, small x. So the change in intensity of beam as it passes through the slab will be proportional to two things. First one is thickness of slab and second one is intensity of incident beam. Or uh, in mathematical form, we can write for small thickness dx, the change in intensity will be given as di is directly proportional to i dx, i is intensity and dx. But here mu is linear absorption coefficient that is a constant and we, we gave this name to mu, we give the name to mu as linear absorption coefficient. Further, what we'll do is we separate the variables and integrate them. For small thickness of slab that is dx, the change in intensity will be given as di is equals to minus mu dx. So, after separating the variables, we got di by i is equal to minus mu dx. On integrating, the value comes is log i is equals to minus u x plus c where c is a constant. So, we will take a case where x tends to 0 and i tends to i naught then the value of c comes to be log e i naught. After putting the value of c in equation number second we get log i minus is equals to minus u x plus log e i naught. On solving this equation we got the value of intensity we got the value of intensity as i is equals to i naught e raised to power mu x and this equation, equation number 3 shows that the intensity of gamma rays decreases exponentially with the thickness of slab. So this is called law of absorption of gamma rays with matter. So, the next book one comes is interaction of gamma rays with matter. So during this process when gamma rays interact with matter there is a loss of energy takes place. So we have three main process through which gamma rays are scattered or absorbed by the matter. First one is photoelectric effect. In this process when gamma rays interact with matter the whole the proton energy that is h mu is absorbed by the electron and the ejected from atom of absorbing material. This results in ionization of the atom. Second one is Compton effect. In this process, photon interact with matter and partial energy is absorbed by electron results in scattering of the photons with loss, with less energy. Third is pair production. When the energy of photon is very high and interact with matter, the energy of gamma rays photons converted to some mass creating an electron positron pair. In short, a pair production of electron and positrons occurs in this process. So we have three processes. In photoelectric effect, the ionization of atoms takes place. 
in Compton effect the scattering of proto, uh, photons takes place and in third pair production the electron positron pairs occurs. So that is all for the gamma ray interaction. Thanks for listening and watching this video. Hope this will be helpful to you for study further about gamma rays. I request you to please like and share this video and subscribe our channel that is crew keep you. Thank you.